Hi everyone, my name is Dan Reist. I am a lead engineer in the Strategic Product Development Group here at Advanced Cooling Technologies. And today we're going to talk about heat pipes and uh, their thermal conductivity values. So we have a demonstration to show you. Um, here we have a copper water heat pipe and here we have a solid copper rod. And we're going to be inserting them into our demo box which has a hot well and a cold well. And we're going to be looking at the difference in thermal conductivity between a copper rod and a copper water heat pipe. So the first thing I'm going to show you is we put the copper rod into the heated well. Um, we're actually going to be able to see the temperature change as the heat conducts up the rod because there's a color changing paint on the outside of the surface of that rod. So it's a little difficult to see here, but the, the paint is turning from green to yellow slowly. And so what we're actually witnessing is the heat conduct up that rod. Um, so I'm gonna let it progress a little further just so you can get a feel for the rate that, that it moves. Um, copper has a thermal conductivity of about 380 watts per meter Kelvin. So it's a good conductor as far as solid materials go. Uh, but in a minute here, you'll see how much better the heat pipe is. Um, so okay, so you can see the color change and it's slowly making its way up. In another couple minutes, it'll have turned completely yellow. Uh, but now I'm going to put the, the copper water heat pipe in and you'll see that the color changes um, almost instantaneously. So it's already um, essentially the same temperature at the top as at the bottom of the heater block. And so that really demonstrates that high effective thermal conductivity that you get when you use a heat pipe for cooling electronics or other um, devices. So at the same time we can move from the hot well and insert it into the, the cold well and you're going to see that temperature very quickly go to the cold temperature and return back to green. Um, if we do the same thing with our solid copper rod, that process takes one to two minutes. Um, so this is just kind of a really practical example of the difference in effective thermal conductivity between a, a heat pipe, which is a thermal superconductor, and even your best solid metal conducting materials like solid copper. So that's all for now. Thanks.